Hello, everybody. Welcome to our first meeting in three years in person. <laughs> wow. This is great. This is great. So for the people here in the room, as opposed to the ones that we have online, uh, if you didn't see it, there's cupcakes and water in the back. There's wonderful sales stuff in the back, Lisa and Doris. Um, you should all have a kit. So, um, and welcome to our online guests as well. Um, well, maybe y'all should be quieter, but anyway. <laughs> volume up. <laughs> I'm turning all my volume up, 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 up. Can you hear me better now? Thank you. We're so excited to have you in person. And Doris and Lisa are here with their wonderful stuff. And so go check out their great stuff back there because... We're so happy to have them. All right. So then presenter. All right. Today we have with us Svetlana Sefikina. Svetlana is a wire artist that has been, oh my gosh, did you read her bio? It is a mile long. She has been around the globe making wire sculptures and beautiful wire flowers. And so you can come up front and see all her amazing things. And um, so we're so happy to have her today. And so um, how, why don't you tell us a little bit how you came up with this incredible um, tree to begin with? <laughs> First time, uh, I was in this room three years ago yeah. when we just came to the US in 2018. And it was also December, I guess. And it was my first time when I met you all. And I was impressed how many people were here. And then I had a chance to teach my classes two times. Uh, and, uh, beat wheel and dance, beautiful beat studio, and then COVID started. So today is my second time here, and again, so nice to see most of you. Uh, we already met, right? Before, maybe some people like you. Yes, and um, as soon as it's Christmas, soon. And you know, we already saw a Christmas tree before, or I, I have a YouTube channel, and there is a uh, masterclass or tutorial how to create a Christmas tree, but it's kind of a video here, like this, a 25 centimeters. Is it okay if I fell in centimeters? It will be a little bit of a convert on the wall. Uh, but, but 25 centimeters maybe is like uh, 10 inches. Yes, uh, and when we decided to, to do this masterclass in Rochelle, um, it was her idea to create the Christmas tree ornament, so it should be a very little tree. And we, let me show you some. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> and the perfect use for a Dixie cup, honestly. <laughs> All you have to do is decorate it. I'm going to share some pictures with you. I started to uh, make French bit of flowers in 2007. And um, actually, I started being even earlier when I was 13. And we created different bracelets, like no French bracelets, and we wore a lot of them. But it was only for one summer. And probably, I think. I wasn't so much involved because uh, we needed to use threads and needles. But I didn't like needles from my childhood. <laughs> That's why uh, when I found out that there is the way to create the pieces out of wire and beads, it was very interesting. And mostly it's flowers and trees. So I started that. And what I like most of all is that you can um, create really big, like real life size mm, 
maybe not trees, but flowers or bonsai trees. And I like to create big pieces. <laughs> like nobody, people told me, maybe you want to create something little, but no, I want a big piece. <laughs> so this was my first Christmas tree. And it, can you see it? Yeah. And it was 62 centimeters high. So it's maybe like that high. <laughs> Yeah, and also, yeah, you can just put this Christmas tree on your table or in the corner of your room, and you already have Christmas morning. Um, then uh, it had rice and it had some uh, ornaments. Then there was the blue spruce. This was a little, just a little bit, uh, uh, shorter. And here you can see both of them together. And then I decided to create even smaller tree for my YouTube tutorial. And it was this one. You can compare the size of the bigger one and this little one. So this one you can find on the YouTube. You can make it natural, like a blue spruce, or you can decorate it for Christmas. Yeah, but today we are going to work on a very little tree, little Christmas tree ornament. And I just have some ideas for you here. Like, for example, we found this dome in the Dollar Tree store. So you can put it like that. But also, if you want to hang it on your tree, I have this hook. In the magnet, so you can put it right here, and it should be your Christmas tree ornament. So you can, you can kind of decide which way you want. Then, also, this one is just a little bit higher, it has plus one more layer of bigger branches. So you can just put it into your heart, some beautiful round or any type of heart, or maybe a candle. A candle holder, and it will be your Christmas tree beside your computer. Like sometimes, no, uh, I presented my it was actually the sakura or cherry blossom tree to one of my friends, and she was working uh, at the computer all the time. And she said, Sometimes I'm so tired, so I just relax and watch the tree, and it kind of makes my mood. <laughs> So this is a nice office presentation. And then, then you can zoom in on those closer. There you go. Yeah. And show the screen. This tree was kind of under the dome. It's funny. It's a and then you can use the hook and put on your tree. OK, so let's start making it. <laughs> you have some beads, you have some wire, and you have uh, some beads already strung on your wire, right? Uh, does everybody can uh, use the beads here? Do all, did you uh, did you ever try it? to use the beads here? Okay, then that's good. Uh, but. We are going to do it now because we have them already, but I want to start the. I want to thank the six people who helped us spin all the beads. Wow. Thank, thank you. you. Thank 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 you. But say if you are just starting at home and you have some green beads or blue beads, so just use some clay and start um, putting your beads one by one, one color by one. And I actually always start with the with the type that I like the most, with the color I like the most, and I put the most of it, and then I start adding other types. Around it, like uh, the closer in the, the closer the shape, the closer it is on the table. And then, if 
say, for example, if I'm going to create the blue spruce, I still add some green beads, but just a tiny bit. If I make a Christmas tree, a green tree, I still put some blue beads in, in the mix, but just a tiny bit. So the more shades you have, the better. And I don't even count how many beads I put, but somebody um, uh, commented on my, under my second lesson on YouTube, and they said they counted, and it was 56 shades. <laughs> I was the first <laughs> I just have all the bits that they have had at home. <laughs> okay, then after I have that beautiful uh, mix, I start stringing. Uh, first of all, I use this bit here, and I start stringing with uh, that. So, but we already have that. Okay, so. Let's prepare your swing of these, and we are going to start with little, with the, the smallest branches. I will show them. Um, ah, I will show here. If you look like this, we uh, moves. Also, you see our first and main one. Main one will be with the angel. But we will uh, leave it for the later, okay? Because we need to learn the technique first. So, and this is the French technique called continuous loops. So, all the loops will be the same size. Uh, if I make a bigger tree, and actually even this one, I just made all the loops four centimeters. It's like one and a half inch. But when I created the smaller tree, I decided to take a little bit less, like 3.5 centimeters, which would be um, 1.25 inches, right? So a little bit more than one inch. Uh, so if you have a ruler, you get a bit centimeters. If somebody doesn't have a ruler, if you have a bunch of rulers, oh, yes. Okay. When I started on the wire, okay, I will I will start explaining now and show show. Oh. Okay, so uh, I'm going to leave just a little bit of wire, like five centimeters, okay. and I don't even measure it. I just okay. do it by eye. So and I hold here in my left hand, then I take and bring some beads closer to my left hand and measure out 3.5 centimeters. Then we're good. I, I thought I was misunderstanding. Nope, I okay. did it right. Okay, okay. great. Okay, okay, so measure 3.5 centimeters, please. Okay, now we have it. So now we, we need to make a loop. I usually do it this way. I put, kind of, I, I make this loop with my right hand over my left hand. So, and you see it's a loop now. It's easier to do it this way, not to bring the ends together, because then it will be harder to twist. But if you if you make it like that, you just put your right hand over your left hand, you already have your beads secured at the bottom. And then just, ah, before twist and wire, we actually need to give it a shape. We don't need this loop. We need a needle, right? The Christmas tree has the needles, not the round leaves. So that's why first pinch it like that and shape it. So it's very, very um, pressive. So it's very like a needle, like just one, uh, one, what do you call it? one piece. <laughs> Squeeze it together. Yes, squeeze it, squeeze it together. And after you light it, like you like a needle, it looks like a needle, not like a round leaf. After that, you start twisting it one and two, sometimes maybe three times. So it should be a needle and just a little uh, wired leg at the bottom of it. Okay, everybody got it? It, it was easy, right? <laughs> then count five beads and bring them closer. So we will have five beads 
no matter if it's a round bead or square bead or two bead or triangle bead, no, no matter which shape, just count five beads. And at this point, maybe step it out uh, a couple millimeters, like it should be a very short distance. We should create the second 3.5 centimeters loop. So I measured 3.5 centimeters again. And now I can see that I have just a little tiny square by a space, like a couple of three millimeters. And then uh, between the five, centi uh, five bits and 3.5 centimeters. And then I do the same. I just create the second loop by placing my right hand over the left and then squeezing the loop together so it looks like a needle rather than a round or oval loop. And after I like the shape, I just twist it two times again at the base. So now we have this two loops and five centimeters between them. Let me share the screen again, show you how it looks here. Mm -hmm. So we created this first loop, and this one looks big, right? Because uh, I was taking a picture when I created my biggest tree, and I probably used like five centimeters in this loop. That's why it's so long. Then we created, we almost created this, the only difference we have two loops here, and you need to have three now. So repeat the steps. Count five beads, then measure out 3.5 centimeters, and bring them closer to your five beads, but leaving the space about two, three millimeters. Then shape for the loop, squeeze it, and twist it two times below the loop. So now we have this shape. Uh, did everybody get it? Everybody is very experienced here, so that's why it's easier. <laughs> okay, uh, now we need to create the branch out of this detail. So I bring the bottom wires together. You will have this first loop on top and two on the sides. And just twist wires below them. Maybe for like half an inch. Just to secure it. Very good. And now it looks like a half cross. Not exactly like the uh, Christmas tree or blue spruce branch looks. So the only thing we need to do is um, actually before that we need to cross those five beads. You see, we have, we have the beads, five beads on one side and five beads on the other side. We need to cross them a little bit so they are not kind of two parallel streaks, but they are crossed. And with this, no of the loops. It's kind of a little bit difficult, difficult to do because it's just a tiny, short uh, distance or string. So if it doesn't work, just leave it parallel. But next, we will do it. Oh. Okay, and now uh, to make the real. Uh, loose spruce branch. Just bend these two or direct these two loops up like 45 centimeters upwards. And now we, you see, this is, and we already have the first branch. Yay! Yes. Okay. Everybody got this? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, cool. So wait a minute, you wind and wind beyond your um, branches? Uh, the yeah. wire? Yeah. Yes, yes, like uh, this is half of the inch. So just to secure, to secure your... Mm. Okay, uh, I will catch it. Mm -hmm. 
so according to our pattern, we will to, to make seven units of this kind. Do you want? Uh, but let's continue and let's create this, uh, the second type of the branch, which is technically the same, but just plus two more loops. So, so we got this one. Uh, we have the same. Uh, no, no, no. We, we, don't, yeah, we need to have off before that. And usually, like you see, my first wiring was about five centimeters. The second one I do, I make smaller. So I cut the way, so it's kind of. One tip is touch low, and the second one is touch low. Because we don't need them all the same size, all the same length. Or because we, need, we don't need extra uh, thickness in the stem. So you said there's one shorter and yeah. one longer. Yeah, the first one is longer, and the second one is shorter. It doesn't really matter how short. Like, I do, I, do, I do it by eyes. One time I did it shorter, the second time I did it shorter, but just a little bit shorter. Um, feel free to do it anyway. Not the same, not the same size. You can make longer if you wish, but not the same length. Okay, and also, by the way, when you have one piece, always the uh, beard and then you can don't drop your screen of beads. We will lose them, so keep, uh, keep securely. Okay, and now let's repeat the same steps. Um, leave about five centimeters again, just by eye. Then measure out 3.5 centimeters of beads and create the first loop. Give it a shape, squeeze it, so it looks not like a loop but like a needle. And then be three two times below. And who can tell why do we need to press before this and not after? Because you don't get one longer cross. In the cross? Uh, but when you have to have enough layers, so you have enough layers. Uh, but when you twist the first move, mm -hmm. for example, I can uh, just just I'm gonna create the second one. This is uh, and around three point five centimeters. Then I create the loop. I can twist it now. You see, it's it's round. It's round now. I can twist it. It's right in front of you, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <I'm saying> <laughs> I can squeeze it, and then I can start pressing it and squeezing it, forming a uh, needle. But I don't, I don't do it this way. I squeeze first, and then I twist. Why? Oh, so so they they have have so yes, uh, not to break the bead, the beads, because um, if you twist it and if you twist it hard. Uh, you will have, sometimes you don't even have one millimeter of free space between your beads. And then but if you start twisting, uh, squeezing your beads, you can just break break one or two. Especially if you are working with two cut beads, they are pretty fragile, so uh, you can break them. That's why it's easier to squeeze, uh, to squeeze before twisting. Okay, let's continue the same way. I'm making the third loop push faster. <laughs> Who's making the fourth? Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay, I have four now. I am taking the last one, the fifth one. <laughs> and by the way, if you ran out of wire, just um, sleep your beads further. So you always need to have a little bit of wear wire. How much wire do you need after your loops? Uh, not, not a lot, like not more than five centimeters. So first, and was five centimeters, so like it, it will be a couple of inches. The okay. second will be even less. And if you need a uh, ruler with centimeters, <laughs> we have lots of rulers. <laughs> Wait, I translated it for you in, into the inches, just in case you wanted that, so the centimeters. 
It was on the original list of supplies. instruction you want to make the smallest style that's what you would need for these you're going to need more obviously so that's going to be included in her original time and even you know, for this one i also created so rochelle has uh five loops maximum <laughs> so the biggest branch is five loops but this three has seven loops maximum so the biggest one. Um, and the pattern set, you've got to get the original one. Yeah, seven and nine. Yeah. The fourth layer has seven. So if you want to create here and create a little bit bigger, uh, try to make seven loops. If you want to stop and make it really small, let's just put down how many um, units of each kind you need. This one has one layer of seven loops and so it's just that much bigger and then i layered it i but i kind of ended with the seven so, 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 so i have already done right there so yeah um, yeah 
Let's all make seven units of the three loop branch. Seven units for this time. So, so we we can start assemble our trees later. We have the seven branches. So, Barb Benjamin says you're doing a fantabulous job. <laughs> and Sonia says I took your class a few years ago and it was really fun. Yeah, I remember Sonia. Hi, Sonia. <laughs> Hope everybody who's online can follow the pattern. Do you need me to repeat something or any questions? So what happens when your wire breaks? I just start a new branch. My best friend. <laughs> <laughs> but what I learned, so not to break your wire open, uh, try not to undo your work. Like, for example, you did the first two, and then you didn't like something, you decided to undo it, and then make it again. This way, your wire can't survive when you bend it too many times. Then also, it's good to um, make your piece very tight and very hard, so you don't have loose beads uh, hanging on your wire. But at the same time, if you overdo that and you work, you work so hard and you try to make it super perfect and you tighten it so hard it's also bad because it can just pressure put pressure on your beads put pressure on your wire and it will finally break So in this pause, you want to hear a joke? Oh yeah. Always. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, this is a religious joke. God created Adam. You, are you Mike? Well, I, I'm going to go to the front. Go to the front. <laughs> now you're really going to be struck down. She's <laughs> pretty All right. Yeah. Nice. I'm used to standing in front anymore. Oh, Hold on, let's um, present her mid. There we go. Now, How can you tell? Okay, so God created Adam and Eve. And after that, he said, I have two more things to give you. The first one is that you can pee standing up. And Adam said, ooh, 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 that's what I want. Oh, that's all I want in this world. God said, okay, you got it. Eve, you get to have multiple orgasms. <laughs> All right, now back to your regular program. <laughs> Thank 
Okay, okay. I have another one while you're still in, in <laughs> that. It's in a resting state. <laughs> That's good. All right. Yeah, shut up, Shelly. Um, no worries. <laughs> Is it also religious? <laughs> no, this one has no religion. <laughs> so um, this guy had been a postal worker all his working days. And when he retired, he decided that what he really wanted to do was make um, carve stone to be headstones. And he was very good at it. And at one point, a woman died. And she was very proud of the fact that she lived her whole life and she was still a virgin. And so on her headstone, he, write, he wrote, return to sender unopened. <laughs> okay, that's all I know. <laughs> Happy holidays. I think that was just the perfect. <laughs> <laughs> so should I tell another one? <laughs> Well, Maggie is laughing her butt off down in Arizona. She just wants to let us know. It's happy to see us all through this. Okay, so I'll tell you one <laughs> Since you reminded me. Usually once I've told a joke, I forget. So this, but this one I had to tell my financial advisor. All right. Because he told me. So here's Maxine for third time's a charm. Third time. God, this must be a holiday. So... My financial advisor it was back in 2000, whatever, when the market dipped. And I said to him, God, it was a long time ago because I was still working. I said, will I ever be able to retire? Will I have money? And he said, absolutely, Maxine, you can do everything you wanted to do. You just have to die earlier. <laughs> and I've told him this. I reminded him of this. And he said, you know, that's a good line. So, and th this is truthfully all I know. <laughs> Welcome. Um, so, I did hear one. There you go. Here's a here's an overhead view of everybody. We miss you all, everybody on Zoom. Hi, everybody. Rochelle, how many people are on Zoom? Um, there's like twenty eight. Wow. Wow. Twenty eight. I know. I, I mean, there's more than just you guys in the world, right? I mean, <laughs> Adele is here on Zoom. Wait a minute. Hi, Adele. And she paid her dues. She is a returning member. So you will see her hopefully at more Monday meetings and Saturday events. I think Marlene had a question on Zoom. Okay, so let's go back and Okay, so Marlene's question is, should we cut the wire after we finish each branch? How long is the wire tail do we need to leave? I know you did cover this just before we took a break. Do you want to go over that once again? Yeah. Uh, your finished branch should have two wire tails. One is just uh, not more than five centimeters, and the second one is shorter. So you cut the second one shorter than your first one. So they are just two short wire ends. Say I can. I just finished this five loops branch, and here is my first wire end. And this is my string of bees. So the first one I left around five centimeters, and the second one I will cut even shorter, so like here, like maybe three centimeters. 
So the first one was around two inches. The second one would be around one or one point five inches. So I just cut it. Yeah, I I keep folding the string of beads, not to lose the beads. And here is my branch with short uh, wire ends. And then I continue and create more branches. So I step aside like a couple of inches just by eye without even measuring it out. Then making the first two 3.5 centimeters, squeeze it, twist it a couple of times, measure out to five beads, it should be in between the loops. Then the second loop again, 3.5 centimeters, make a loop, squeeze it, and twist the wire ends a couple of times again, and have two loops out, and so on, until it has three loops, which is the smallest branch, or five loops on the whole, which will be the second one, the second branch type. Or you can even continue and make seven loops, nine loops if you want to create a bigger field. And let me show you pictures of branches that I have uh, created when I made a big tree. So this one was seven loops. Then nine loops. You see, it's even bigger. Uh, Eleven loops. Here is twelve, and so on. And thirteen. Uh, What's the biggest? Uh, 13 and then uh, just, uh, 15. So the biggest was 15. The biggest was 15 because you can continue like. <laughs> yes, because the wire will, will be too soft for the beads. Oh, and plus also, we are using 26 gauge wire now because we are making a little tree, right? But if you are going to use, to create a bigger tree, then use 24 gauge wire because uh, especially for bigger for bigger branches, you need it to be very stiff and hard uh, to be able to hold the weight of the beads. And actually, if you still, still start from the um, 26 gauge wire for smallest branches, like for three loop or five foot branches, but then eventually we need to start using 24 gauge wire. Shelly is running out of wire. That's why we no. gave everybody more no, wire. Sure. Uh -huh. I, was, I was anxious to see how much it would actually. Mm -hmm. We were guesstimating you could get five to seven branches out of the wire we pre-loaded for you. I got six. You got six. Okay. Six so of three loops? No. Two of three and I'll have four of five. Uh, make seven. Uh, make some more trees. So yeah, yeah of trees. For sure. Because we yeah. need to start assembly. Assembling the tree. Okay. Plus, also, don't forget about the angel. We still need to make an angel, but it will be our top branch, besides those seven. Um, we gave you lots of wires, so you should have enough to make it. Oh, yeah. How many trees do you use? Seven. This is how many lights we need? It's on your pattern, right in front of you. Oh, I'm sorry. 
Right here on the, on the other side of the back case for the tiny, tiny little ornament. Ten, three loop branches, nine, five loop, and one in the pot for that little teeny tiny one. So you want to make it bigger, then you got to make it more. Yeah, Michelle has three. Uh, yeah, sorry, uh, three loop branches, but I used seven, so. Uh, well, I added three on the bottom yeah. for the oh, little crunch. Oh, oh, right, right. So yeah. now for the little yeah. crunch. Yeah. So. Yeah. That's like you're talking about. Yeah. But that's an so, option to so one to open these four. Like, a lot more little ones. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> so, so if you are going to finish the whole three little day, so then you will need ten three little branches. Uh, but if you're just you're just going to start assembly and then finish later, then better do seven three loop branches and start making five loop branches so you can continue with the assembly. Yay! I made it to five. <laughs> cool, five. Five. You just need to give it a shape now and. Put, um, put the branches on top, like at 45 centimeters uh, degrees, at 45 degrees and off. So, so they look not like this, but like that. Like that. Yeah, yeah. like that. Good. Yes, I like it. This is learning anything new is challenging. <laughs> but fun. I, I, I just use the so, so yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> I wanted other places. <laughs> now you're good. Well, I was very late. Oh, I know. I'm sorry. I know what to do. Now they can see both. Correct. All right. Get leaving some space like this. 
and I call it here. And create a then hold it here under this glue and squeeze it. So now it looks like a needle. And now I'm ready to start turning. I do not show. That is still have this station from where where wire go. So I will use it for twisting. So the ideal thing is if, if you can use that bare wire for twisting. So now you have seven loops and five beads between the loops, and hopefully. They, they are pretty tight and nice, and they don't move here. So now I just bring the wire end like that, and they start twisting here on top first. So I twist the first, I twist the first part. Now I will twist the second. Part. Now I will be the third one. And after that, I'm just ready to be the virus. Just as as many times as you want. The main idea is that it should hold uh, your branch tightly together. So, but now it doesn't look uh, very nice because it's kind of <laughs> a little bit funny while we were walking. So now just start bending your loops up at an angle, angle like 45, uh, 45 degree angle, take that, hold them. Yeah. So we now have a bran branch. And this is seven loops branch. And I can also show you a little tweak that as soon as you create one branch, you can give it a shape so it will be not as flat as this one, but kind of give it a natural look. And then uh, after you will create your tree, it will look and make it real look even more natural. So just kind of try to shape and bend each of your loops a little bit upwards, like that. Uh, just like that. You see, I, I just bend this side, but this one is still left. Yeah, it's still flat. So this one is flat. But this one is this one already has some shape and I think it looks more natural this way. So I will finish the second half, half of the branch. So now I have you see now it looks more like a third tree branch, more natural, not just that. So and it's it's better to do it now after you created this branch than also we made this five. Or by the way, you can compare. This is the flat branch and this is the shaved branch. So which one looks better? Yeah, the shaved one. The shaved one. So I will do the same with all my branches, even before assembly. Theoretically, you can make it after you assemble the, the tree, but it will be not as easy if you make it now. If you do it now, because when you assemble it, it's kind of all tight, and 
it's not even possible to reach each and, and every loop there, especially inside of the tree. So you can maybe easily reach your outer loops, but not the ones from the inside. So it's why it's better to give the branch a shape now, and then when you start making your tree assembly, it will already be looking nice. And by the way, this tree has nine uh, nine loops branches maximum. So seven and plus also nine. This one is smaller. This one has seven, seven loops maximum. And what Rochelle did, uh, oh, Rochelle said this one also has yeah, the yes. bottom row is seven. Mm -hmm. This one is also seven. The bottom row is seven. And then do you have the story? I, mean, I just kind of. Watch 
here in white pattern, it's even more difficult, but I start with the magnet here at the two pieces of the magnet. Of the magnet. Yeah. Which people are normally using for the bracelets. So I started with this first piece, but as soon as we are not made with the, we don't have any methods now, so we will start with the demi. Um, yeah, angel scale, the gold demi bead. Yes, yeah, so you can then be then the third, then the fire polish be and the wings. So just prepare them all and cut about 30 centimeters, which is 12 inches or maybe even a little bit more like if you have enough fire, you can just in case measure out say 35 or 15 inches of wire so just to make sure that we have enough so i have this 15 inches of thin wire so and and i put the first golden damn bead which is the tail of Table on this wire. So here it is. Everybody sees this? Mm -hmm. Yeah, then I just put it in the middle. Oh, one oh, no, no, this way. Because I did it with the map, they did it this way. But now I should. Ah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this will be this way. I just <laughs> never made the angel start with the table. Yes. Uh, okay. So we have. The tail on top of our wire, and the wire I just bend it double. Now, just put this three millimeter um, fire polish bead, which will be the head of the angel, then the metal wings, and then the skirt. The main idea is to put the skirt the, the right way, <laughs> not the opposite way. So I use the head, the wings, the head, the wings, the skirt. Yes, and the skirt. Yes. This is what the head, the wings, and the skirt. The head, the wings, and the skirt. And I need to actually put this whole body to both ends, to both wire ends. So you went around the halo? Yes, uh, yes. the halo yes. we just put on one end and folded the wire together. Half, half. Oh. Yeah, folded the wire, the wire half. And then, that's why actually, you see I got one wire end I left longer, the second wire end, I left a little bit shorter, so it's easier to swing on the last wire end first, and then, and then just, to, just put the beads through the second one. So, but now, when we have it, we just move the body closer to the table, and we need to kind of push a little bit sometimes. It helps to use the pliers. Nylon nylon pliers or just regular pliers. The only thing that um, the blade should be a smooth one, not to hurt, not not to damage the wire. So this way, the nylon knows where it looks the best. Okay. So I just put the You see the tail was kind of pointed up, but I will just bend it like that. So it's not. Up, but yes. 
Paulo is supposed to be on the bed. Does everybody have a halfway, like in the middle of the wire? Yes. It doesn't matter. It's even easier and a little bit longer, and the second one is a little bit shorter. <laughs> Was there a question? <laughs> Was there a question? Put somebody in the chat. Um, but they just wanted the pattern, and so um. We were making sure if they got it, I will put it on the website for people who, you know, the smaller, whatever. Because the angel part wasn't on your pattern, so that we sent them earlier. So that was it. So we wanted to make sure. And it'll go up on the pattern. But yeah, I like doing it your way. Yeah. This is a good. I love the uh, is it clear with the angel? Everybody has it or something maybe needs the repetition? Let me know if, if you want to repeat the steps. But otherwise, if everybody does, we can continue. Okay. And in the chat as well? Yep, in the chat as well. The close up perfect. You work good. Okay, so now we still have these two wires, but right? Coming in this place out of the angel. So now this green. Cross point five centimeters, or it would be like a little bit more than half an inch on each wire. So I'm going to how many centimeters? One point five. One point five. I think you have to make two angels. But what I said was, I think you should have five birds and one wing. But only one wing. I'm sorry. I was going to say that. You can use your own wing, or you could use any kind of cute. Or you could put a star anywhere. I'm sorry. Those cute little, little like, sea ones. Yeah, that would be a really cute little thing. Okay, sorry. I'm just showing you that I have 1.5 centimeters of beads on each wire. Does everybody have I spin that one. And you, you don't even need to measure each time. You can measure one time, then you can put whatever like whatever you get on, on, on your wire and then just remove extra beads. But the idea is that our both strings should be the same length. And let me show you. First of all, it will be like this is what I already have. So you see, this is almost the same as just our regular first wheel branch. But the only difference is that we put angels, the angel on top. So now we are going to twist. These two strings together, like 
Is it the speech in our top book? A couple of times. So, let this now. And we still have pretty long wire ends to make two more loops of the same size, 3.5 centimeters, plus five beads in between them. Yeah, so now I'm going to screen five beads plus 3.5 centimeters on each of the wire ends. So let's do it. And technically what I, I do, I just use my bead spinner and I screen whatever. Like I'm just I'm not measuring, but I don't, I can tell by eye that this is three or five centimeters plus five beads for sure, even more. Then after that I count five centimeters, uh, sorry, five beads and I I just drop them. And now I will measure this. Leave it only 3.5 centimeters. And if I have a couple beads like extra, I will just remove them. If I don't have enough, I will add more beads. 3.5. Okay, yeah. I, I have three extra beads, so I'm moving them. And this is my first wire, so I'm going to make a little loop or if you have a bead stopper you can use your bead stopper just make sure that it's kind of it holds your wire very good and doesn't uh, take, take off from the wire so i have whatever beads i need on my first end so i'm just going to repeat the same with the second end Maybe the beads. Okay. This should be enough. Measuring um, counting five beads, one, two, three, four, five. And now I need to measure. 3.5 centimeters. Now I can make the loop on the second wire. So you see, I have two wires with just enough beads to finish our. Units. Is everybody ready? Okay, I will wait a little bit. So you can so you can so you can if you just count it and then yeah, just count five beads plus three point five centimeters, and this will be the beads you need to finish. That's why you can just Make a little loop at the end of your wire ends or use the heat stopper okay. just to secure them and repeat the same with the second one. And it will be just enough to finish our work. Um, How much should the first in the beads be below the heat stopper? Uh, so one, seven point five, six, yes. this, this, this first part, each. Three was one point five centimeters. Then we visited it and selected more beads. Yeah, it was it was actually just uh one side first and then three more beads and then the second side first or as I already did, I, I'm working in parallel, so I strung enough beads on one side, enough beads on the second side, and after that I'm going to continue weaving. Let me know when you are ready. Continue. 
branches. If you have several branches in your product loops, it's even better because you can sample your three even further. Uh, we shall how much time do we have left? Um, it's an hour and 15 minutes, so we have to be out of building. Oh, hour and 15 minutes. Okay, so maybe use 15 minutes to read the finish as much uh, branches as possible and then I think one hour will be enough for us to to sample what we have. So we have the angel. Please make sure that you have at least seven branches with seven sorry seven branches with three loops. What's the <laughs> Maybe say bye to everyone. Yeah. 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 Bye. 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 Angel plus seven branches. So on, on, on the whole, it will be eight. Okay. Yeah, but if we are not counting the angel, then it should be seven. With three loops to start our assembly and then make five. Branches with five loops, five branches with five loops to go even further. And then, if you, you if you're pretty quick and you still have some time, make the additional three loop branches, three units. Just to finish our tree with the skirt, just to make the skirt of our tree. Because, like for example, if you have a tree, and say we don't make a skirt, right? We we just make small branches, then medium branches, then big branches, and no skirt in at all. So if you our tree will look like a triangle, which is also actually possible, but it's just more simple shape, it will be like just a triangle. But to finish it and to make it even more natural, we need this sort of like extra layer of short branches, which probably like they are new branches that are growing, like the, the shoots, new shoots, very fresh new shoots. So that's why we are making this skirting out of Real branches. Oh, something has a question. We shall see. So there was some. Thank you, Rita. We are going to start our job now. Is everybody ready? Okay, you see here, I put a picture of all the branches that I had for my dinner tree. Uh, do the same, but with what, with what you have. So, first one is your angel, put it first, then cut three branches with three loops and put them beside your angel, but a little bit uh, apart so not to mix those branches. So, this is this. Then count. Four branches with three loops and put them here. And then, whatever, how many branches with five loops, loops you have? Ideally, you should have five of them, but you probably didn't have enough time to finish. So, if you have at least a couple, put those next. So we have kind of everything organized to be able to start. Oh, I, I will show you the pictures first and then I will switch the camera. Yeah. So you see, all, all you should have some stem, right? Stem wire. They can be wire. And we actually put just a short piece of wire. Uh, Michelle, does everybody have this station? All have a short piece of wire. Twenty inch wire. Okay, it's probably better than your quarter And you see, we don't short because the idea was to create a 
this has to be ornamented. So you don't need to make your long stems. For example, if you're going to be a tree to put in the pot, then probably you, you need a long stem because you need to create the stable base out of fire that you put in your pot. Or like here. Here, see, I also use a longer step because I created this thing to put it on the table or whenever I want. But because you have the short piece of wire, uh, it's, it, it will just go in the hand, right? We can we will not be able to uh, put it on the table. But it's just the idea where you, you are going to create the next three, then take maybe a wire smaller stem. So you have this this extra wire to bend and create this base so your tree can stand on its own. Okay, so we are going to start with uh, putting our first branch in the angel on top of our stem wire. And we are going to use the floral tape to fix it. Michelle, is this the way you did it? Or we also yeah. discussed the I, I started with the angel mm -hmm. and stuck the angel of the stick, but that's, that's the same and, thing. And you use the stem wire I use that from the very one. beginning, right? Yep, from the very beginning. Was that what I was supposed to do? Uh, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I watched your video, but it was in Russian. So, <laughs> so we are going to use the stem wire from the very first branch with the angel. And then you see we are going to add um, around this first branch, we are going to cover with the floral tape just a little bit, like not more than five millimeters, which is again uh, one fourth of an inch, right? One fourth. And then we will add our next uh, like layer of branches, which would be three branches with three loops and then we, have, we will just continue to put more and more layers one by one i'm going to show it until we have the three so and i'm going to show it now okay here is my so you can see okay, here's my stem wire yeah my coral tape. As soon as I am making the blue spruce, I am using the bright green coral tape. And you are making the Christmas tree, the, the uh, green one. For the green one, I was using the brown coral tape. I know I just like to use the uh, blue or green coral tape for the blue spruce. Okay, and I'm starting with. Attaching the, uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, you know, my husband knows my tree. When you are working with the floral tape, your hands can become sticky. Because to make your floral tape more good, first of all, you need to tear it off from the school. And actually, I showed it too quick, so I will just see it. So I never cut the floral tape with scissors. Because the idea is you need to stretch it to activate the glue, right? And that's why when you are just tearing it like that, you will stretch the very end of the floral tape. And then you can continue on stretching. And you see this part, which I didn't stretch yet, it's kind of um, glossy and dark green. And this part is already lighter and not so shiny. Because the glue is now available. So I just stretch it. If you can, by the way, you can stretch it like the whole piece, or you can stretch uh, on the whole, like step by step. Just don't forget to always stretch it. Yeah, and your hands can become 
still here. And when I, for example, want to give a shape to a branch or I want to touch my beads, I usually use like a napkin or some kind of a material, material because the water will not work, but something soft and like, like your napkin will, will help to clear your fingers from the glue. Okay, but um, where is my step? Yes, here it is. So I, I started with covering the top of the stem like that. Um, yeah, so yeah, I start this way. You see, I start a little bit for, um, further down. I start a little bit like this, but I hold my floor um, plate at an angle and I first I move up towards the top. Like that, so kind of from the bottom to the top, and then when I reach the top, I just fold the floral tape um, in half, lengthwise, so I will have it twice thinner but twice stronger now because it's like double layer, and we need it to be very wide we just this is the perfect uh, size so you see my top the tip of my wire is covered now and i'm ready to take my first branch with the angel and put it on top like that so <laughs> not don't, just don't leave any wire here it should be like your beads should have touch your wire, the stem wire, or maybe even you can put your stem wire a little bit up on your beads. So now let's cover and at the same time attach your first detail, your first unit, first branch. To a stem. So you see, uh, now I have about five millimeters covered, just a little bit, one fourth of an inch covered. And now I can, I'm going to start using my uh, three, three loop branches, but not all together, but one by one. So I'm taking the first one, and usually I bend, like I bend. And the wire like a little bit like that using my hand, and then after that, it's just easier to put it as close to your stem as possible. Okay, I put it here, and I'm going to continue twisting the coral page and attaching the second branch one. Just a couple of times is enough. After that, I'm turning the work and I'm going to put the second branch the same way. Just use my pen to bend the leg. And now I'm going to, I'm going to put it close, close to the previous branch and Recent hmm, covering a couple of times again, maybe even one because uh, I, I already see that I don't want it to be very hmm, far apart, I don't want them to be far apart, so we don't see any stem through the branches. And now I'm taking this one. Now I'm taking another one, and then you can see, bend, bend that. and you see now I have this open space, so I'm going to put it right here in this open space. And again, now I can twist like three, four times, and that will be our second layer. So just once again, I can bend my 
branches like that just to show you what they have. If you look at your piece like from the top, this direction, you should be able to see that you have these three branches like shaping the triangle. So then they should be all the way around your piece, your, your angel. Yeah, and then just do the same with the remaining four small branches. So here I have them the four three move branches. I'm just going again to put one by one using the same technique around these three. So they should kind of shape the square now because we have four of them. So I will start with the first one. And you see, not not to make them like if I put it right here, you see, it will be covered by the first uh, by the top layer. So I'm going to shift it a little bit so it, it is kind of uh, it is shown in between the previous two branches like this. So it will be here, it will be here, and I continue. Crazy. It's actually not easy if you hold, hold them like that, so I'm going to press them together. But you, you got the idea, right? Then, besides this one, I'm going to put the second one. This is our second layer with the three loop branches. Then the third one, so now I can actually bend them again. So see, now I have one. One, two, and three. So I think this, the fourth one will go this way. This way. Mm -hmm. put it here. One, two, three. So let's take a look again from the top. So you see now I have the square out of four branches. Mm -hmm. And my first three are here. So this is the second layer. And now we just continue the same way. If you already have your five branches with five loops, just again, uh, step five millimeters, from the second layer and start attaching your third layer with five loops. Uh, and obviously, it sh they should all go around, so you should get the perfect shape. Mm -hmm. If you you are going to create even bigger tree with seven loop branches, then you can create five or even six of them. And they will be bigger, plus more of them will create another layer with the per perfect circle of branches, and so on, so forth, and until you want to stop. <laughs> so, but um, for example, I want to continue, I will press them again because I don't want them to kind of <laughs> cover. My work here, so I can see clearly if I keep it this way, it's better for me to continue working. Okay, oh, and also when I decide where to put the first branch, I can turn my work around. Oh, put the left here, I can turn my work around. And you see here I have uh, branches, 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 and here I see here it's kind of. Again, 
and they see more of the stem uh, is the floral tape here. So I will put my first branch here under this gap. Not not here because here it's already busy, but here it looks like I need to put my first branch right here, which which is five foot now. So I, I went to the red and put it right here, this, and then I continue covering just one two times. And by the way, you see. I have my photo tape here and now it's flat again. So as soon as I need it, I continue and fold it half in half lengthwise again. So I always have it double but fold it in half. Is stress the stress before you fold it in half? Yes, so even I do it simultaneously, like. Oh, I okay. stretch and then fold. Okay. And how many times do you wrap around one branch before you add the next branch? Uh, one or two. Mm -hmm. Also, just uh, make sure that <clears throat> they are uh, each branch is a little bit down, like maybe one millimeter down. Um, yeah. Not, but not the same layer, or you will have like one layer, the second layer, and spacing in between. But you don't you don't want it, that's why we put it a little bit down, but not too much, so not to have big spaces between branches. Okay, spiral. Yes, like a spiral, yes. <laughs> yeah, here. Maybe one is enough now. Then and the second one, or oh, it's already the third one. One turn again. I kind of feel that this time one turn is not enough. Okay, the next time I will do turn, two turns. This one now. And here I will do two turns. I will make two turns. Now, one that becomes one, two, yeah, I already have four branches and five loops, and I will put the fifth number here. Like, 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 like closer, so you see one, two, three, four. So the hips will go this way. Okay. And now I do, I make like three, four turns because we are going to start our next layer. So in between the layers, you can leave just a little bit more of space. Okay. Oh, and by the way, so if you have seven loop branches, Continue the same way, adding more and more, but let's create a really very tiny tree now. So uh, I will just use my last uh, three. Three loop branches for the skirting. So starting with the first one. The same way, it's just the branches that are smaller. But again, I'm finding the ideal spot. Here or here. It looks like less some open space. So two turns, then two turns, then two 
going to my hands, the board touching the beads. My third one, and again, and the third, because the step now is bigger, I probably need to leave a little bit more space between two branches because they should go like we only have three of them, so they get to create the perfect triangle. Mm -hmm. oh. I have the first one, the second one, and here I will get the third one. So I, I I tried to spread them evenly around that thicker um, stem. So one, two, and three. Yes. Can you see three of them? And here they are like also around this stem. Okay. And now you see we already have some wires. So the the first option would be to continue cover uh, till the end and then cut whatever like leftovers here and then bend your base like that around so it's pretty stable oh and by the way you see if you want to hang something from your book uh, from the end of your base here uh we can it's optional but you can use some thicker wire like very 20, 22 gauge wire and just create a little loop at the end of that wire and before finishing your stem, we have one. Let's say this is my very two gauge wire. So I'm just using a little piece. Oh, and then using the nylon snow spider just to even make, make it straight. And then I, I also have this round snow spiders too. So I can create a little loop at the end of this wire. Like that. So, and then for finishing my step, I'm going to do a little bit because I'm really covering too much. Say, I want the length to be this. So, I cut the axis. And I will put this loop, this square with the loop, right inside. Inside here, so and the loop only you can only see the loop after the last um, okay. And now just continue to cover together with this loop. So this will be our. Okay, uh, and grab more. <coughs> oh, by the way, if if your floral tape ended because it's uh, sticky, just take another piece and kind of press it where you stop and continue. In the same way. So here, 
you can power something like that. You can even use I can't see uh you can cut your floral wire in half like that with your scissors and use a thin piece of uh, floral tape just uh, to put inside of the loop and kind of cover the top part of the wire so nothing is visible at all but it's optional if you want, if you want to be a like super super accurate yeah but if you just turn around several times like that and then it starts going backwards it's like nobody will see it anyway so we are covering backwards now from the tip to the tree, like you can do it like all the way down to your branches, or if you think like it's enough, you don't want to add any extra um, layer and thickness to your stem, just cut it. And sometimes, you know, when I was working with this brown coral thing, it was it wasn't as sticky as this green one. So I just use a tiny drop of, of this glue. So just to glue it so it, it will never come off. Mm -hmm. What do you call school glue? <laughs> okay, oh so this is the first option how we can finish our stem. And also I, I just had an idea, but I didn't have a chance to try it yet. Uh, you know, Rochelle and Bobby Bean, we have some bean stoppers, mm -hmm. uh, like cups for the beads, or I, I don't know what people, what else, like some, yeah, some cups maybe. So you can cut your stem very short, like that. Use your floor, floor tape also, kind of cover the bottom a little bit. And then you just can use that bean stopper, thin that metal thing, and put it on glue. So you will have that uh, nice little metal kind of stem, uh, yeah, trunk of your tree. Okay. This is my next, uh, when I'm going to create my next tree, I will try to do but I need to get that uh, the metal part. Okay, and then um, let's say I want to bend my trunk now, so I'm going to use this tool, uh, this nylon nose pliers, and I'm going to press my uh, bottom part. I'm not going to press, press it here because I don't want it to be very tight. It should be as little as possible. As little as possible. Yeah. So I'm taking I'm resting it as close to the branch, branches as I can, and then maybe even here. It's not here because the, this part is thicker, this part is thinner. So I'm going to rest it here. So yeah, not to add any height height. So I bend it. And now yeah, so we are wrapping up. And now just Give it a round shape or whatever shape you want. Again, maybe I could, you can make a triangle shape, or but probably round is the easiest. Sometimes it takes a little bit of a time just to see it and kind of see that it's a good shape, nice and round. And when you are happy with the shape, you can also put your feet and See if it stands on its own, and then also as soon as we as soon as we have this tiny loop at the end, we can hand something like this drop, say icicle. Yeah. 
So, so what's your website spell? You can put the three, and if you want to make a three on the computer, you can put it in the box. Thank you, everybody, for and thank you. For this